Welcome to the Startable Vlog, the place where everyone can be an entrepreneur. I'm Nicole Dickens, the founder of Zoetica, where we help people start, launch, and scale their ideas for maximum impact. Now, the Startable community itself is all about igniting the entrepreneurial spirit by creating as many opportunities as possible for people in the early stages of entrepreneurship to discover, then launch their ideas into the world. So, in honor of what we're calling the year of the startup, we've been discussing ways of discovering if you are an entrepreneur, if entrepreneurship is indeed something for you. We've boiled it down to a sort of formula, if you will, that best indicate that entrepreneurship is something you may be called to. Um, and it's a combo of passion, opportunity, and life experience. Today, we're going to talk a bit about what role passion plays in entrepreneurship. Now, I spoke about that friend of mine who loved to bake cake boss style cakes for fun and also as a stress reliever and use cake creation demonstrations on Facebook Live to connect with friends and family during the early part of the pandemic. Now that passion has grown into a food truck expression that will deliver to you her delicious creations of yum and fun. Now passion exists where there is joy. It is simple as that. You may not even have skill at the start. No one ever does really, by the way, but the passion drives one towards the desire to build the necessary skill for it. Everyone knows the story of Michael Jordan, that he sucked at first at basketball in high school, but his love of the game drove him to work at growing his skill. Um, with late night drilling in his parents' driveway growing up, driving everybody crazy, and we know where he ended up. So skill at the onset indicates nothing initially. Now, for many of us, life hasn't afforded us the luxury of even discovering our passions. We're just too busy getting by, dealing with whatever is coming our way in a day. But even that can be overcome by simply creating space to discover our passions. How does one do this, you ask? You just said we haven't had that luxury. Well, you gotta make time for it. You need to commit the resource of time. Time is a precious, precious resource, folks. Commit the resource of time to discover your passions. You start by asking yourself what brings you joy. What gets you up and out of the bed in the morning? What are the things, the people, the places you return to over and over again for relaxation, inspiration, and refreshment? Where are you and who is with you in these moments of joy? Then ask yourself if there's any kind of problem solving going on with this passion of yours. If you are serving a need for somebody. Then start what if thing around what you discover about yourself and your passion. I'll let you in on a secret, by the way. Your passions are probably the best indicators as to where you should be spending the majority of your time. Tell us and a few folks in your life about what you find. We always love to hear from you guys and see you next time.